are those things? They look like giant soul gems. Is that you? What do you want? Jeez, man, you sound worse than I do. What exactly are you doing? How does anyone expect me to write my opus with all of these rude interruptions? I will leave you to your business then. Good riddance. Jeez. Let's kill those Was it things and get back to the Having the prison? adoration of thousands. No, wait. I could make it. The adoration of tens of thousands. Any idea who this guy is? He sounds like an Ashlander or something. I saw another one, but everything in this place makes me just the slightest bit twitchy. Stuck on the trees. I'm very impressive. I don't know, that was a pretty big bastard, if you ask me. Well, Arden's an enchanter, I suppose. Why not? And that's one soul gem that isn't going to be here. And I've lost all sense of direction. Excellent. Oh, well, that'll help. And the last one is all the way across the camp, of course. I really do sound like an Ashlander, don't I? Great. Well, I suppose it's appropriate. Well, I'm not sure how I noticed this just now and not sooner, but, um... How did dragons get down here? I'm a bit more inclined to believe what your mother said about Durnavir now. yourself Die! well never mind this 
strikes me as dangerous. No, you don't. You're not getting the best of me. You know, I really should know better than to stand in your way. You're pretty deadly with those sparks of yours. What was that? Besides kind of a terrifying sound. Is this thing? This won't end well for you. A bad choice. Times like these, I kind of wish I had a hammer. Knock his skull clean off. And I appear to be lost again. Great. Oh, there we are. How to get lost in the Soul Cairn. I'm going to deal with that before anything else happens. dealing with any more of the bone things. I heard one, I'm not dealing with it. There you are. Thought you'd gotten caught up fighting something. As I promised, we're back. You managed to destroy all three keepers? 
very impressive. It was mostly your daughter's doing, frankly. Are you able to give us the scroll now? Yes. Please follow me. Keep watch for Dernevere. With the prison's barrier down, he's almost certain to investigate. Oh, good. I can't believe we found my mother alive. Well, you know what I mean. Alive-ish. Shall we? Is that my blood? It must be. Great. Wait. I hear something. He's here. Defend yourself. Die! Oh, good. Calm down, you big scaly bastard. Deal with that was. Come on, she's leading us to the school. Yeah, yeah. Gods, you can't hear yourself think with all the lightning. You all right? Give my astonishment, but I never thought I'd witness the death of that dragon. What makes you say that? Volumes written on Dernevir allege that he can't be slain by normal means. It appears they were mistaken. Unless... Unless... The soul of a dragon is as resilient as its owner's soul. It's possible that your killing blow has merely displaced Dernevir's physical form, while he reconstitutes himself. Of course. And how long do you suppose that'll take? Minutes? Hours? Years? I can't even begin to guess. I suggest we don't wait around to find out. Now, let's get you the Elder Scroll and you can be on it. You know what I mean. Jeez. What did you want? This is a lot bigger than I thought it was. 
that said, I am shorter than either of you, so. I'm glad you're here. I don't think I could be doing this alone. All right. Thank you for the scroll. Now that you've retrieved the Elder Scroll, you should be on your way. You stay here. I have no choice. As I told you before, I'm a daughter of Cold Harbor. If I return to Tamriel, that increases Harkon's likelihood of bringing the tyranny of the sun to fruition. Well, in that case, we'll come back for you when everything's settled. Don't worry, I've got a guy on the outside working on it. I appreciate your concern for me, but Serana is all that I care about. You must keep me safe at all costs. Remember that Harkon is not to be trusted. No matter what he promises, he'll deceive you in order to get what he wants. And promise me you'll keep my daughter safe. Which is the only thing of value I have left. Understood. Serana? I'll give her a minute. What happened to Dernabir? Are you ready? And is this one of those? If it is, I can't get to it. I'm too short. Yeah, let's get out of here. Come on, let's go home. Story of my life. Too short. The sooner we get the scroll home, the sooner we deal uh -oh. with my father. Careful, Serana. Stay your weapons. I would speak with you, Quanarin. Cool, what now? You know, we kind of thought you were dead. Cursed, not dead. Doomed to exist in this form for eternity. Trapped between Laas and Enoch. Between life and death. And I thought my voice was screwed up. So you're a curse too. Why are we speaking? I believe in civility among seasoned warriors. And I find your ear worthy of my words. My claws have rendered the flesh of innumerable foes, but I have never once been felled on the field of battle. I therefore honor name you Quanarin, or Vanquisher in your tongue. To be fair, I did have help. I found you equally worthy. Without Saran and Valyrica, I would probably be dead right now. Well, more dead. Your words do me great honor. My desire to speak with you was born from the result of our battle, Quanarin. I merely wish to respectfully ask a favor of you. Oh? What kind of favor? For countless years I've roamed the Soul Cairn in unintended service to the ideal master. Before this, I roamed the skies above Tamriel. I desire to return there. What exactly is stopping you? We've kind of got a dragon infestation, so... I fear that my time here has taken its toll upon me. I share a bond with this dreaded place. If I ventured far from the Soul Cairn, my strength would begin to wane until I was no more. Oh. And how exactly can I help with that? 
I will place my name with you and grant you the right to call my name from Tamriel. Do me this simple honor, and I will fight at your side as your Graze Mazen, your ally, and teach you my Thum. Um... Appreciated, but I don't exactly have the voice. You might be able to tell. But if it's as simple as just saying your name... I suppose I could do that. Trivial in your mind, perhaps. For me, it would mean a great deal. I don't require an answer, Quinarin. Simply speak my name to the heavens when you feel the time is right. Uh-huh. Besides the fact that I killed you... Kind of. Why call me Quinarin? Isn't that a name reserved for a dragon? In my language, the Quinarin is the Vanquisher. The one who has bested a fellow Dova in battle. I am not a dragon, if you haven't noticed. Forgive me. My instinct was to grant you this title. I am uncertain why. Perhaps one day it will become clear to both of us. With any luck, right? One last question before... I head back up to the surface. How did you end up in the Soul Cairn anyway? There was a time when I called Tamriel my home. But those days have long since passed. The Dova roamed the skies, vying for their small slices of territory that resulted in immense and ultimately fatal battles. And you were part of all that. I was. But unlike some of my brethren, I sought solutions outside the norm in order to maintain my superiority. I began to explore what the Dova call Elok Dilan, the ancient forbidden art that you call necromancy. So you sought the Soul Cairn for answers, then? The Ideal Masters assured me that my powers would be unmatched. That I could raise legions of the undead. In return, I was to serve them as a keeper until the death of the one who calls herself Valerica. And they didn't tell you she was a vampire, huh? I can see how that ended up not working in your favor. I discovered too late that the Ideal Masters favored deception over honor and had no intention of releasing me from my binding. They had control of my mind, but fortunately they couldn't possess my soul. Right. And that's why you're free now, right? Free? No. I have been here too long, Quanarin. The Soul Cairn has become a part of what I am. I can never fully call Tamriel my home again, or I would surely perish. I only hope that you will allow me the precious moments of time there through your call. I will do my best. One cursed bastard to another. I may not have the voice, but I know one person at least who does. With any luck, I can get her to teach me. So, if an unfamiliar voice calls you, just know she's with me. Eh? 
how unfortunate for him that he ends up naming the Bosma with no voice Hunarin. I must admit to feeling a little bit undeserving of the title. That was... strange. The sooner we get the scroll home, the sooner we deal with my father. I was under the impression that you didn't want to deal with your father, but maybe that was just me. Right. Hey, Morbin. What do you want now? I lived. See you around, if you live long enough. Damn Britons. Yeah, let's just get out of here. I'm tired of everything around me smelling like ash and lightning. And dead things. Rancid... meat? I guess. I don't know, I kinda got used to it after a while. Excuse me. say it's good to be able to breathe again, but it's a little <laughs> stuffy in here. Oh, what is it? Are you alright with all of this? Does it bother you that we're working with your father right now? I figured it would be more of an issue for you. I mean, that's fair. This isn't gonna end well, is it? No, it's probably not. I mean, what do you think my father will do when we bring him the bow? Well, obviously he'll want to use it, which isn't good for any of us. Of course he will. But at that point, he'll have everything he's ever wanted. He won't need either of us anymore. And he'll try to kill us, of course. As is politics in Clan Volgahar. You'll have shown yourself to be strong. Which means you can't be allowed to just stick around. And I'll be unnecessary once he has it. Great. Which means Arden is in danger too. We'll have to take care of him. Not until we have the bow. But you're right. This won't be easy. But we can handle it. Right. Are we ready then? Well... I guess so. I can't be sure, but I think... I think something strange happened when we came out of the Soul Cairn. Let's get indoors. Or Yikes. in a cave. Anywhere, just out of this. Yeah. Understood. Sorry. Wrong... Wrong door. I, uh... I think something might be... amiss. It's... 